YouTube, what's going on? My name is Argon. Welcome back to some Fortnite action. Now the gameplay you are watching in front of you is the Solos game that I played. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I didn't have this. Uh, I recorded it kind of after I played it. Uh, I also didn't have my mic on, so I couldn't do a live com. But it's a pretty good game, so I thought uh, I didn't want to throw this on like a regular type game where I'm just kind of talking about something random. It was a pretty good game, so I thought, I'm like, hey, let me record this uh, commentary after the fact. We'll talk about what's going on in the game. It's pretty funny. There's some funny moments, and then there's some pretty clutch moments. But going right into it, I thought, I'm like, let's do this. I'll give you guys kind of my um, kind of, I don't know what do you want to call it, but my opinion on how I do stuff in the game or my mentality or strategy. So starting right off the bat, you know, I, I like to land, if I feel a little spicy, I like to land to the first major city or major drop point along the path of the bus. As long as it's not Tilted Towers, I'd say I've like dropped Tilted maybe five times ever since it's been added to the map. I just won't play it, you know. So Pleasant's a good spot. I'm getting kind of like really into Pleasant lately. I don't know what it is. The gameplay there seems... Pretty good, and then I know a lot of people dropped here with me, so I found the first house I could get to, and I'm like, well, let me just go get some loot. I automatically see this guy already in this building, so I'm like, well, might as well go get a kill, you know, because, I don't know, I just felt like going after some kills. So I don't know if you guys know this about the game now, but there's actually different audio that plays depending on whether or not someone's on the same level as you or after or above you. And I happen to see this guy. He must have known I was there. I'm like, okay, that would have been a cool way to get a kill, but whatever. So I got to figure out which way he's going to go out. And then um, I think he's going to go out the front door here in any second now. And uh, boom. <laughs> talk about... <laughs> Talk about a funny way or a good way uh, to make an impression going out the front door, you know? So, I saw him put that ramp up to the roof. I'm like, alright, he's going to be above me. And I, I know I'm like really low on mats at this point. I've, I've basically none. So, this game could have been over right here now. There's people all around me. Uh, I really don't know what to do with this situation. This is really my only option is to hide behind this truck because uh, I don't have mats, you know? And I don't have time to loot. So, I make contact with him there. He hits me with a boogie bomb, guys. Now, the thing with a boogie bomb is... You know, you got to be patient. Don't panic. If they hit you once like this, you know, then it's going to cancel it. But you just have to be patient. Keep them in your sights. Jump around. Make yourself a hard target. And then once you do finally get hit or the boogie bomb wears off, just blast them in the face. You know, do that. I do hear more footsteps here. And I'm like, all right, well, I better get after this guy, whoever's chasing me now. And I know there's somebody in the soccer field. So now I'm just kind of like, well, let me get to the roof of the building and see kind of what goes on around there. So I do hear him. I'm like, let me take this mini shield because, hey, it's there. You better take it. Mini shields are honestly becoming more important than, you know, bandages at this point just because you can put them, you know, you can take them much quicker. And I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now. This player right here in front of you that you're about to see in the soccer field, that guy must have early access to the jetpack because he's got some of the weirdest movement I've ever seen. I think he's definitely having some connection issues, but just watch this. Watch, watch. Watch how he moves around. Oh my god. I'm just going to let you guys watch this. So he manages to rubber band his way across the field. And I'm really annoyed because this guy goes off and gets the kill. Right there. Boom. He elims him. That was my kill. I should be at two kills right now. We're going to remember that for later, but either way, now I know that guy's gone. I got to worry about this guy across the field, and of course, I got a guy in my house. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to get the guy in front of me or underneath me, whichever one I'm going to go for first. I decided to go for the guy under me. I just kind of want to walk around, feel him out. I hear him walking around. Uh, I decided to check my ledges that I put, you know, over the first time I almost killed that guy. So let's see here. Yep, I build up a ramp up here, and boom, here he is. Right up there. I don't know how he doesn't hear me. I should have danced. I wanted to just like kind of be cute about it, but I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't click fast enough. So grab his loot. Now we don't mess around. Now we got to get pushing. So the way I play Pleasant Park generally, guys, is I stay on the outside of it. I like to start on the west side of it where all the houses are because the side with the gas station on the right side is a little bit too spread out for cover. This one has plenty of trees behind the houses. You can get plenty of loot. Uh, you don't have much to worry about west of you. I mean, actually, you kind of do because a lot of people like to go to the mansion and they like to go uh, wherever and then they'll come in and I've definitely gotten pinched from the west side so you can't, you got to be mindful of your backside, I guess. Um, but in general, I do like to kind of run around this outside area and I think, nope, I didn't. I thought I heard somebody at first and then I'm like, well, let me just loot, finish looting this house. This was actually the first house I landed at. So I, I had to come in here, grab the chest. Now I hear gunshots and I'm like, all right, let me get this Get the loot and get moving. 
And I, there's going to be points here, guys. It, like I said, this is an after-the-fact commentary, so there's a, a chance that if something's a little bit slow, I might cut it out. So if you guys see kind of speeding up here or, or uh, pausing, I might pause here to talk about a few things, but definitely going to have to do that to keep this thing nice and smooth and quick. But we're pushing around here, and I do remember I see... I happen to see... Now, this part of the game really threw me for a loop. I see this guy rush up to the top of this house, and I know he's a dark voyager. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just use this ramp. I'm going to chase him. I think what he did, but he totally finesses me. I have no idea where this guy ended up going. I thought he dropped into the house, so or at first maybe in that build right there. I'm like, well, let me just chuck these nades down there and see what happens. Also, I'm rubber banding kind of bad in this game for some reason. It was a pretty bad connection. I don't know. But I, I just trying to figure out where this guy went. I'm thinking I got three nades. I should be able to make some good explosions in the house or at least catch him running out of the house. And uh, nope, nothing. And then at this point, the storm's moving and I, I got a pretty long ways to go. So I really can't be messing around. And I, I'm just waiting for him because I don't want to I'd rather get the kill, you know, and maybe he's got loot that I need. Probably some bandages of some kind. But nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now I'm thinking, all right, I better get moving because I don't want to die to the storm. But of course, I also don't want him to come from behind me and shoot me in the back. But, you know, sometimes these players play like that in solos. They would rather ride it out and die in the storm than they would, you know, I don't know, actually push you or whatever. So again, here I pick up this green pump. Very important, guys. That pump tack SMG combo is, oh, God, it's beautiful. Have you guys tried that out? Let me know because I made a video about it. A couple weeks ago about the best class setup in, in the Fortnite Battle Royale and it is this class setup is super dope I love it any chance I get I know it takes up two inventory slots which kind of sucks but popping some guy with the pump shotgun and then finishing him off with the SMG is super awesome however I am starting to try and practice just using the pump shotgun and uh, you know go from there and just trying to get used to that because I don't want to have to do you know um, what's it called I don't want to have to have uh, Two inventory slots get taken up. Now this actually right here saves me. I've, I've happened to run across this loot. I don't know why this person didn't get any of this, but he left bandages behind, which really saved my life. So I'm also, by the way, really low on AR ammo. But if you're going to see here, I'm going to pick up this uh, these bandages. And I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here for a second so that we can kind of skip some of this running. But I'll be uh, just speed things up so that we can you know see what's going on. And uh, there's no point in me just blabbering on, you know? So as I'm getting to these factories, guys, I do start hearing gunshots, which you're going to hear in a second as soon as this slows down. And I'm thinking, great, I got people in front of me. I'm going to need their loot, and I'm sneaking up behind them. So let me just get up here, get in front of them, or get behind them, hopefully, and try and get some easy kills. And I'm going to need their loot anyway. So this would actually wouldn't have worked out any more perfect. But as soon as I get over this ridge here, I'm like, where are these guys that are fighting? And I don't see anybody, right? So I'm just thinking, okay, better keep running. And then I happen to see this guy jumping across Loot Lake. And I'm thinking, okay, if I don't kill him, he's going to probably meet me at the other end of the storm. And he's going to cause me problems. So I take an easy shot at him. I think he had stopped a bandage and I got an easy shot on him and killed him like that. So now I'm actually going to push out to the storm. And what I'm going to do guys is there's a lot of transitioning that I do kind of moving to get to somewhere faster. We're going to speed things up to where I get to somewhere a little bit less chaotic or more chaotic I should say because it's more interesting. So now I'm going up here to the top of uh, the area by Dusty Depot, and I happen to catch a guy who's running up his ramps up to this high mountain here, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to chase him because A, he doesn't know where I am, B, it's in the direction of the storm, C, he's putting down all the stuff that he needs to do for me to get up high anyway, and I'm a little low on mats as it is, D, I saw him fall off his ramp, so it kind of made me think that maybe he's not the super best player, so if he does turn around and sees me, I have a chance of actually killing him. Now the secret here is guys, as you're pushing from behind on somebody, especially with the storm behind you now that the storm is moving, you don't want to rush and take your shot right away because you never know, it, with the back, the storm to your back, they have the advantage. If they should turn and see you, they can just bunker up and start shooting at you and then you have to hope that either A, you can ramp on him and push him and successfully take him out or somebody gets him from behind. Both are options, but this is actually the safest option. You know, now you see me pushing towards him. He still doesn't know where I am, but if he's a smart player, he'll probably turn around and look. So that's why I'm kind of snaking between these objects here. Just so as I'm pushing, I can keep an eye on him and then I can also 
take some cover. So now I'm in a, a decent range to where I might want to shoot at him. And as soon as I clear this hill, I'm going to take my shot. Now this guy gets super lucky that, uh, I don't know, as I'm pushing, I hear footsteps behind me. So I'm like, crap, better turn around and uh, push this guy that's trying to take a fight with me. Uh, I don't think he's very good or else he would have shot at me already. But he happened to get this shot off on me and take off my shield and most of my health. So I'm like, great, I got to deal with this. I already hit him once, so I cleared his shield. Now I'm going to go down and see where he's at and easy shot. Now I know he has no shield. I know the storm's coming. I know I'm weak, so I gotta push him. For some reason, he decides that he's gonna go ahead and take a uh, slurp. I don't know, or mini instead of continue fighting me. He must have been super low. Now I'm in the storm. I need his. I need his shield. I'm also panicking a little bit. Not gonna lie, that's why I'm randomly shooting my gun because I didn't realize what I had toggled to. I pick up his minis and I'm like, all right, at least the storm's close. I know it's gonna do two damage, but I need to get out. I got plenty of bandages. Now this is the thing. I'm. I'm good. I'm safe where I'm at right now. I don't need to rush to get out of the storm. I have all the bandages I need. The storm's close. But now I know there's a lot of fighting going on. I see this guy with the guided missile, and I'm like, all right, this is my first target coming out of the storm. I know there's plenty of people fighting. They have no idea I'm coming. Those guys to my right and Salty are probably pretty distracted. This guy, when he's shooting his guided rocket, he's not going to be able to protect himself. And he also doesn't know where I am, so I'm going to take the moment to go ahead and bandage and take my minis to get up to full health. And I decide, you know what? Eh, I feel like being a little cute. You know, earlier in Pleasant Park, I wanted to dance on that guy rather than, uh, you know, kill him right away. So I'm like, who better than a than a poor guided missile guy to go after him, right? So now I'm, I know he's going to shoot his gun or his missile, and I'm thinking I should have probably maybe waited for the next one. I should get close and then wait for his next, uh, next guided to go off when I'd have plenty of time. See, now he should be approaching near the end. End, and I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna dance on this guy. But you hear that sound? That means he's still in it. But now he's not. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I kind of messed up. <laughs> so as I was shooting that guy, somebody came up and snuck up on me, right? So now I'm kind of screwed because this guy has pretty good position on me. I'm underneath this tree. I'm just panic building, trying to cover as much as I can. I throw down this jump pad, and you're gonna see it saves me here in a second. I managed to take a, oh, actually I don't take a mini, my bad, because this guy pushes me, and now I have to figure out what I'm going to do, and luckily, he takes my jump pad, and look at that, oh, poor guy, gives me a free shot on him, and now I'm able to take him out, that actually saved me, and I'm really surprised that it worked, but wouldn't you know, this was like a really hot zone, I don't know even know where these people are coming from, there's a guy right there, look at that, 19 HP, barely get away with it, this is the most intense part of the match, I think, because... I just keep getting people approaching me. Uh, this guy must have been pretty newbie, even though he's a John Wick. Just the way that he comes after me, I'm like, well, I don't, in this position, I need to take meds. And I'm going to let, because the storm's coming too, on top of everything else. So I'm just going to see what he does. If he was smart, he would have taken my walls out. He might not know where I'm in, I am. I don't know. Common sense, especially if he's hearing the bandages go off, would tell him uh, that I'm in here. I think now he knows, so he's shooting my wall, but he just stops. I think he stops, and he's going to leave me in the storm, and uh, I just outsmarted him. So, GG's to that guy. Uh, he kind of costed himself, but either way, he had some good loot, really good loot, and now I need to get out, and I think... I gotta go back, but I believe I left a gold scar back there, um, so I didn't know, I didn't care, I knew I had jump pads, I knew I had to get the hell out, so I was like, screw it, I already got a purple scar, a gold scar's not gonna be that big of a difference, but as soon as I jump, man, look at this, there's people all around me, I just gotta get somewhere safe, they see me coming in, and I just gotta, there's a guy right there, and then there's a guy behind me, I just gotta build and protect myself, and I want you to remember this situation because I actually get on the other side of this near the end of this match and it's um kind of a uh, really ironic right so here I'm like okay I'm in the zone I have all the meds that I need I'm gonna take a med kit luckily these other two guys that were shooting at me now started shooting at each other uh, so my goal here is to just go ahead and take the full med kit and then see what's going on after the fact and now I can kind of take my time and make sure everything's reloaded. There's no rush here. Uh, if I can hear anybody sound whore anybody, that would be the objective. And now I hear people shooting at each other, so I know that they're engaged. And I know either A, I can clean up what's going on after the fact, or B, at least not get shot when I'm trying to build up and base up. So this guy that was to my west-ish in that little fort, he actually got the kill. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out where he's at so I can get an eye on him, and then I'll be able to take him out. Now this part, I'm going to speed it up a little bit because there's a little bit of camping here. So what ends up happening, guys, is I see him in here and I know the timer's running low. 
I, I know he doesn't know where I am, and I also see that he doesn't have a wall protecting his ramp in front of him. So I go ahead and decide to shoot the wall out, or the ramp out in front of him, and then I can actually take the engagement. But as you can see, some guy was camping, and he's like, oh, okay, this guy's gonna go and shoot at this other guy. Oh, it's my chance to take him out. He's a default skinner. I'm assuming he wasn't very good, but yeah, he took some shots, and then, uh, so I put up this wall to my right. Uh, needless foreshadowing. I want to protect myself from the guy I was originally shooting at, and I, I managed to just take this guy out no problem right so now I need to push the storm because I got 30 seconds left and he's taking my base out so I'm deciding I'm gonna go directly south after this guy's loot I'll put some walls up so that he can't shoot me luckily now I've got plenty of mats like I didn't have earlier and uh, this guy you know he knows where I am this may be not the smartest move exposing my right side but I put up enough walls hopefully to distract him and now I push up I actually want to take over this base that the other guy had but first I'm gonna just keep an eye on this guy and I know that the storm is closed the zone is closed if I just get up into this next guy's base and so that's what I decided to do I but also decided to patch it up a little bit and now it's time to go finish taking this guy out because you know I got 36 seconds left till the storm's closing in on me and boom this guy's easy target right he's ducking in and out of the storm he's taking HP damage I'm beaming his shield off and I'm thinking easy win right I got five people left I'm about to kill this guy get nine kills I'm gonna get a 10 plus kill game so I come over here and uh, also I'm like all right let me just where are my bullets going? Why are my bullets not hitting? Where are my bullets not hitting, right? Easy, right? I should be able to get easy kills on this guy. He should be dying like crazy in the storm. And he had to have been super low, right? And I just, I'm just not paying attention and I don't, I don't protect myself. I make a big mistake here. And of course, some guy who has nothing to do with anything decides that he's going to take his chance to take a shot at me. And that's how I die. Now, also, I'm gonna go ahead and back up because I gotta, I gotta freeze this for a second. But let me just give you guys. Uh, oh, I don't know this guy, G Breezes 12 with three kills. Where I, I was his third one. He gets my kill, so I should have had 10 kills there. Of course, you remember the guy from Pleasant, and now this guy took my other kill. God, so frustrating, man. It's gonna hurt a lot, especially because this guy ends up going on to win. But let me go back to where he sniped me, guys. This is literally the frame right before I died. Look at the bullet trace, that black line going across the left side of the screen. That's where his shot went, and it completely missed me. Tell me how, 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 <laughs> how does that hit me? First of all, the snipers are supposed to be 100% accurate, so that's the line that the bullet traveled. It completely misses me, but whatever, man. I don't know. It was really frustrating, especially after I went back and looked at it like that. I should have won that one. should have been more than 10 kills, but hopefully you guys learned something. And hopefully you guys understand the way I play this game now a little bit more. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not following me on any social media, all those links are down in the description below. And as always, guys, my name is Argon, and may you never die to a bush. Peace.